Okay, no real updates uh, on the injury front from last night. Uh, you know, just like I told you guys last night, very frustrating uh, night for us, um, disappointing uh, in, in a bunch of ways, uh, but weren't able to get it done. And, and it wasn't for lack of effort. Uh, we just, we, we weren't good enough, uh, too many lack of detail type things and it cost us uh, and, and it was really unfortunate. Um, but we really got to make sure that we put this one behind us because we we're on a short week and we, we got Cincinnati uh, coming to our place on Sunday. Um, Baker won't play in this last game. Uh, we're going to hold him out. He's gonna get a, going to get surgery uh, scheduled and really as soon as possible uh, so that he can you know, get back healthy uh, as soon as possible. Uh, you know, throughout this whole thing, we have tried to make the right decision based on all the information available to us, constant dialogue with our medical staff, with Baker, uh, all those type of things. And, and throughout, have really felt comfortable um, based on all that information uh, that, that he was able to play and, and those type of things. So uh, obviously frustrated uh, for him, uh, but just felt like that was the right thing to do uh, for right now. And with that, I'll take any questions. Thank you, Coach. First one will be from Tom Withers. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Kevin. Um, Kevin, in looking back then, any regret in not sitting Baker uh, for a, a, a longer period than he did get in terms of just getting that thing healthier? Yeah, Tom, I think it's, it's a fair question, but I would just tell you each one of those weeks and those days when we made those decisions, you're just going off of the information that's available to you. And, and that's information from our medical staff from Baker, from the second opinions, those type of things. And then based on how he performed in practice. So that's kind of how we made the decision each week. I appreciate that. In terms of, I know you'll have the entire off season to evaluate his season, but just at, at first glance here, how, how would you assess how he played this season? Yeah, what I would tell you, Tom, is, is really, well, I'll wait to talk about, you know, reflecting on this season. Uh, there, there will be time for that. Um, ultimately, I'm frustrated for Baker uh, not to be able to finish the season and, and those type of things. But, uh, but uh, I'll, anything past that, I'll kind of wait to discuss. Thank you, Tom. Scott Patrick is next. Hey, Kevin. I know he hasn't had it yet, but is there an estimate on the timetable for Baker to recover from the surgery? I don't have that information one more. Okay. And then when you went back and looked at the game yesterday, what would you have done differently to try to limit the number of sacks? Yeah, I think staying on schedule uh, would, would have uh, is probably the number one thing. We were just in way, way too many third or fourth and seven and long. Uh, that that was frustrating. Uh, and, and then you know, we, we just it, it's always multifaceted, Scott. It's a combination of of getting the ball out, of making sure that we're playing on time, that everybody's doing their job. Uh, so it just was, uh, again, not what we set out to do in any way. Um, and ultimately, that's uh, something that we need to correct. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. We'll go to Nate Orrick. Hey, Kevin. Um, with Baker's season done, I know we've asked you many times. Um, but now, just kind of looking back, how much do you think the injuries, the harness, all of that affected his play. Yeah, Nate, I think throughout, well, we've been pretty consistent. I think Baker's been pretty consistent with telling you guys uh, how he felt uh, week in and week out. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say that all of that didn't affect it in some way. Of course, it, it would affect it in some way. But I think, uh, you know, he, he's been pretty clear that he, he's been ready to go in these games. And last night, Baker said, um, about the decision whether to play Sunday. Uh, he said he would talk to his agent and his family. Um, how did the decision come about? Was it just Baker deciding with his camp or were you, were the Browns involved? Yeah, I, I think both sides very involved. And I think throughout this whole thing, Nate, I, I, I tell you, you know, constant dialogue with, with Baker, uh, like I mentioned, with our medical team, second opinions, uh, his agent, those type of things. So just having conversations uh, with his agent this morning and conversations with Baker just felt like that was the right thing to do. Thanks, Nate. Dale Ryder's next. Yeah, Kevin, um, just kind of piggybacking on, on that a little bit. I know, you, I know you guys talked extensively week to week uh, about playing Baker. My, my question is, 
Um, when you look back at this now, do you feel like playing him with these limitations put him and the team in a position where you guys could be as successful as you wanted to be? And I guess really what I'm getting at is the fact that the, the offense just really uh, failed to produce uh, for, for weeks at a time here. Yeah, again, Daryl, I think it's a fair question. Uh, I think postseason, we can really look at the season long uh, performance and have those type of discussions. Uh, but like I said earlier, just each week trying to, to trying to make the right decision for the team, for the player, uh, for the players, plural, um, based on the information we had available to us. And it, in your opening statement, you talked about the lack of attention to detail last night that was apparent when you went back and, and looked at what took place. Um, that didn't happen last year. You guys seem to, for week in and week out, really have that attention to detail. And so I, I guess I'm curious, where has that gone this year? And why, as this season has progressed, has, has it not come together on that side of the ball for you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't make a general statement uh, like that, Daryl, about uh, a lack of attention to detail last night versus last season. I, I don't know that that's totally true. Uh, just last night, you know, didn't happen for us uh, for a bunch of different reasons. Um, and, and we got to look at that postseason um, and really pull it apart and, and give a better uh, accounting of it. Uh, but for now, I think it's really about what we're doing this week. Thanks, Daryl. Cam Justice is up. Uh, Cam, if, you could, if you could start your question again, Cam, sorry. Sorry, can you hear me now? Last night, uh, I want to go back to the game plan a little bit. Um, you ran a lot of empty sets, and that's kind of been the key all season. There's been a lot of that, and it, it seems to be set up with Baker's success in mind. Uh, but last night, the success wasn't there, uh, and the empty set just wasn't working for you guys. Was there something that particularly happened uh, that the Steelers did last night uh, that that changed that for them, considering last season it worked out really well when you ran that against them uh, and something that could have been done differently in terms of maybe Baker Mayfield or the other personnel you had out there to, to make that successful? No, it's a good question, Cam. I, I think empty is something that, uh, you know, we got into in the last few ball games versus them. Uh, have had some success, uh, you know, early, had a drop, uh, but then came back, or excuse me, prior to that, had a big play off of it. So uh, they made plays. They, they got their hands up. They batted balls down. Um, uh, and, and ultimately, we uh, just didn't come through with enough plays. Thank you. Thanks, Cam. We'll go to Mary Kay Cabot. Oh, yeah, Kevin, for the second uh, time this season, uh, Baker Mayfield was pretty vocal um, in a public criticism of of the game plan or the scheme uh, in particular uh, this time about you guys leaving James Hudson alone too often, not chipping him enough uh, and whatnot. Um, and then he also alluded to the fact that, um, that yes, you guys could have put the offense in better position at times. So my, my question is, you know, how do you feel about Baker publicly criticizing your you know, your play calling, your scheme, your strategy. Yeah, Merrick, I think it's just uh, something when, when you don't um, accomplish what you want to accomplish, people are certainly frustrated. Um, we'll always look at what we could do better. Uh, we, you know, there were plenty of times that we did have a person in location to chip and those type of things. Uh, and then other times, you know, protection uh, held up and, and ultimately we didn't, whether it was we didn't get the ball out or guys weren't open or whatever it was. It's always a multifaceted type of thing, but uh, that's our job to look at and, and try and find a way to be better. Do you feel like you did put him in the best positions possible this season to, to try to succeed? Because it seems like he's alluding to the fact that that could have gone better. Yeah, I think for all of us, Mary Kay, I just think it's, it, we were, you know, at times as a team, you know, we've been very, very inconsistent this season uh, as an offense, certainly. So all things that we'll look at long term here once the season's over and, and have a chance to look at all of it. Uh, but but certainly there's frustrations there. Thank you, Mary Kay. Next is Jake Trower. Kevin, do you expect Baker to be in the building this week? 
I think they're working on when that surgery gets scheduled, Jake. So uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. So if he has the, the the surgery this week, he'll go off and have it. Obviously, if not, you expect him to be with the team through Sunday. Yes. Um, you 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 noted last night that uh, you rested Nick Chubb in the first half due to a rib injury um, that he had. That, that, that we obviously played in the second half quite a bit. You know, Baker said last night that he was really beat up. Um, you know, really had nothing left to give. You know, how do you reconcile limiting Chubb in that particular situation while also subjecting your quarterback um, to taking nine sacks in a game? Yeah, I think with all the guys, Jake, uh, we, we try to make the right decision for each one of these guys. And and you're right that as guys are are injured and back banged up, we'll, we'll make decisions uh, with them. Um, you know, with the quarterback position, uh, obviously we don't want him to get sacked as many times as he did. That's uh, that's that's the obvious statement. Um, but we're also trying to put our best guys out there, trying to find a way to win. And and ultimately, we didn't get it done last night. Thanks, Jake. We have time for one more. Tony Grossi. Oh, geez. Um, okay, Kevin, uh, two quickies. Number one, uh, when you talked about all these particular decisions on whether to play Baker each week, uh, one of the criteria was how he looked at practice. So how do you, can you go back and explain why he played in the Green Bay game, having not practiced for two weeks? Yeah, well, uh, quickly, because uh, that was a couple weeks ago, but um, I think we were comfortable, Tony, based on his health, based on him having, you know, a full season's worth of, of work and practice, uh, felt comfortable uh, with that. Okay, the other thing is uh, there was a report in Pittsburgh, I'm not sure about the credibility, that's why I'm asking, that Alex Van Pelt met with Pitt officials concerning a job with Pitt. Did the Panthers uh, request permission to speak to Van Pelt, and do you know anything about that report? I don't know about that.